So I actually thought that he was going to ask about something or yell at me about something uh, regarding the NATA, but I was wrong. He mentioned that he had heard that we had a wrestler that was killed in a vehicle accident and asked how we were doing. I said fine and we're going on with the things that the other 400 athletes needed, etc. And then he said, no, how are you doing? We then spent the next hour talking about Nick and how I and, and we as a staff should move forward regarding that loss. I was grateful for his call and it was a short time later that I found out he was trained in peer-to-peer -peer crisis management and was actually calling me as someone that could actually help someone in our situation. As I looked further in, in, into this further, I found out that this had been going on in New Jersey and District 4 for quite some time. ATs supporting ATs in crisis. Nobody understands the language and situation of ATs like athletic trainers. It was at that time that I felt that this service, ATs helping other ATs in this capacity, was something that the NATA should look at and perhaps be involved in both financially and for, with, through committee support. The last thing I did as president was to ask the board of directors to approve moving forward uh, to see if we could, uh, with the concept, to see if we could do anything about it. They approved moving forward and it has developed into something that I believe will be a member benefit that will be one of the most critically important things we have done for the individual AT and particularly one of our own in crisis. Now I didn't mention these two ladies in the beginning of the presentation, we'd like to recognize them now. Rachel Oates is our NATA AED. She doesn't hang on the wall, but she is a lifesaver. And Katie Scott is our AT in residence at the national office. These two ladies have taken the board approval to move forward and have turned it into a program that has been supported financially by the NATA. This program is called AT's Care and will consist of a district-based committee of experts, AT's that are trained to be trainers in crisis management that will subsequently train AT's in the districts and states to be peer-to-peer -peer support for AT's that are in personal or professional crisis. The official rollout will be in Baltimore in a couple weeks, but it is centered to my story about Nick. Rachel and Katie, please stand and be recognized for the work and support you have done with this program. 